you get the eye chart in a in a in a well lit room you can read the 2020 line if you ask them to reduce your astigmatism by a quote adopter they will dial that in for you that kind of thing is that worth the forty dollar difference welcome back so it's been a while it has been a while look at all this look at this face tan from some kiting and kite surfing footage a little bit of it after this video quick video as hopefully usual today um, i get a fair amount of emails and even the facebook group always gets some messages or threads rather about optometrists and i usually repost the ones on the blog that are positive supportive optometrists curious optometrists optometrists who offer to to reduce diopters for people optometrists that, that want to be involved ophthalmologists that are into it i post those and i used to post more negative ones and i kind of stopped because negativity even though it's my nature is not really that productive the point is the positive things you see is people who found somebody who's willing to help them on their journey. And I always say you can self-measure, right? Like you don't need technically for myopia. Myopia is a, you're measuring to blur. You're measuring how far you can see clearly before they blur. How, who do you need for that? I mean, if you have a driver's license, if you can drive a car, checking the screen, Thing. If you can ride a bicycle, you can measure your distance to blur. Like if you have a health issue, if you have a medical condition, by all means, go see somebody. But myopia, right? Measuring to blur. It's a it's a focal plane. You're 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 dealing with. I can see this far before there's blur. How many diopters do you need? Diopters are an equivalent to that distance. So, what do you need an optometrist for? They're just gonna sell you some glasses. So, technically, you don't need anybody. But it's in human nature to want confirmation from, from what still, no matter how you talk to yourself out of being part of this whole optometry mainstream thing, you still kind of want that validation, or a lot of people do. And what I always say, and what, what, what people often fail to realize because we're so well sold by optometry, is when you walk into a place where the first thing you see is frames and lens promotions and salespeople that are doing consults for what kind of frames you need, you're in a retail establishment. It's a business and you're the customer. Very simply, right? Like if you go to an ophthalmologist and they charge you for measuring, they don't sell you glasses, different story, but for most people watching this, in your case, most likely you're going to an optometrist sh retail shop. You're the customer, right? And the person on the other side, the person who's selling you the lenses, right? Like they're in the business of selling you lenses. They call it prescriptions. They call it a medical condition. It's not, right? Like it's, it's a clear piece of curved plastic that you can buy online for $10 retail online so and the wholesale prices i list on the blog somewhere if i'll remember i posted below wholesale high quality lenses are like 10 15 cents they cost nothing so that whole charade of you're seeing the doctor and this is a prescription they're selling you glasses right at the end of the day you're paying a huge huge retail markup to buy fashion frames that are made in china and marked up a few thousand percent and lenses that cost next to nothing that are marked up a few thousand percent so that said i'm not against people making money what i am against is condescension right you don't want to be condescended to you don't want people to treat you rudely or arrogantly when you're spending money in their retail establishment and you don't want people to be unsupportive if they are you have the option to walk out there's a bazillion optic shops all over the place. Two ways that, that I think are good ways to go about it. One, self-measure and buy glasses online. If, if it's a complicated, if you have complex focal planes to deal with, like for example, you're, you have myopia and you have astigmatism and you have a complicated diopter ratio and maybe you, or you also all have presbyopia already, in some cases, it makes sense even to buy a test lens kit. Help yourself. This is not advice. I'm just telling you what I would do. Self-measure, buy your glasses online. Done, right? On the flip side, 
I like supporting local business more than I like supporting some giant anonymous internet shop that brings in stuff from China. They're great to disrupt. They're great to offer alternatives. They're great to get you out of this monopoly thing of having to buy glasses at whatever crazy retail cost from the local lens selling shop. They're great for that. But I'm not saying now that they're there, now that you have that bargaining chip, now that you have that option, you may find a local supportive optometrist. And if you're part of the Facebook group, you've already seen dozens of these stories. If you read the blog on Enmiopia, I have a whole section that is just optometrist confirmed improving eyesight. There's more and more of those as I've been starting to pay attention and, and listing them separately in that category. So there are lots of people that are supportive. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't react negatively to somebody who is, who's, doesn't want to be part of that journey if you want to improve your eyesight. Just walk out. It's a business, right? If you don't like how they do business, find somewhere where you do like how they do business. And when I reduced my myopia for some parts of my own journey, I made deals with a local optometrist where I said, look, hey, I'm buying new glasses every few months, right? And I was experimenting. I was buying a lot of lenses. Uh, I'm buying two sets every time, like close up and distance correction. Give me a deal. Get, put a number down, what you're gonna charge me for new lenses. Cut them into the same frames. Sometimes, sometimes I'd buy new frames. Uh, help me with the measurements. And I, in each case that I've put in the effort and I've tried, I found supportive shops that were like, yeah, I mean, as long as they're not going to be liable for you doing things and as long as there's some jurisdictions like I was in the UK for example and they're horrible there. Um, Italy couldn't care less and that could have just been my personal luck who knows but just you know how it worked out and in the UK I really felt like that there was no point and at that time there wasn't really glasses online shopping yet. In Italy there was a whole lot of oh whatever you want Germans were curious, uh, Russians just pretty much already knew all the stuff that I was talking about back then where I really just had a vague idea. So depending on where you live, there may absolutely be the chance that you find somebody as long as you introduce it well, you don't make it sound like you lost your mind. Because remember, all this stuff is kind of far out there. Like if you take it easy on the person, you're kind of making your own sales pitch. You're just saying, look, hey, for close up, I don't really do well when I wear full correction for close up. I don't need it, right? Like if you have minus five diopter myopia, why do you need five diopters of focal plane change when you're looking at a screen 60 centimeters from you? You don't, right? And maybe it gives you a headache. Maybe it does. Could give you a headache, right? Like, so you could explain to the optometrist if that's the case for you, hey, when I wear that minus five up close, I just get a headache. I used to wear my minus 3.5 and that was great, but the dog ate them and I need new ones. And hey, by the way, can we check with a test lens kit if that's still the right distance for me to blur for close up? Just something friendly. You don't have to go all conspiracy theory on how optometry is a giant scam. Just give them a way to support you without them having to question the whole own whole belief system. You know what I mean? Like I get headaches with when I use distance glasses for close up and you might try it out, you know, but distance vision, same thing. I mean, adverse side effects, like headaches are a real intangible thing. Maybe you get headaches, maybe the astigmatism correction. Could, could we check on that? Right. Could, could we see what happens when we lower it half diopter? Maybe replace a half diopter with a quarter diopter spherical. They used to work for me really well back when I lived in so-and-so and so-and-so -so helped me with it, right? The sales pitch, kind of what you're saying is, hey, I've already been helped in this way. If you have, I'm not saying lie. I'm saying in case that happened to you in the past, right? Give them a way to make it easy for them to help you. Thing gives you headaches. They're happy to help you. Somebody helped you with it before your stigmatism correction seems to fluctuate and reduce, they might be happy to help you. If you walk in there and you go, you guys sell glasses for 5,000% profit and myopia isn't even an illness and all that is a lie, they're probably not gonna be that helpful. But if you're kinda like, just maybe even skip some of that stuff, up to you, give them the relevant part of the message, I really only need three and a half diopters for close up, I think, could we check that? Dog ate the old ones, they were great. If you don't live in the UK, I don't know. 
you can try that out and and you don't have to pay i mean if if somebody wants 700 dollars for a pair of glasses that is a ripoff right if the same thing like um the same coatings right that you're buying online for a similar size of frame and the index of the lenses is the same then the price should be more or less like online they don't they're not paying rent they're not paying insurance they're not paying staff they're not paying for inventory right like it's a whole different thing so if the glasses are twenty dollars online and eighty dollars in the shop consider is it worth for you the monetary difference to have somebody who's supportive to have somebody who has professional level measuring gear if they let you use it or if they do measurements for you properly the way you want them right like you get the eye chart in a in a in a well lit room you can read the 2020 line if you ask them to reduce your astigmatism by a quote adopter they will dial that in for you that kind of thing is that worth the 40 dollar difference would you pay 40 bucks to have access to equipment costing tens of thousands of dollars right and then having glasses cut for you on site having a local relationship with the guy also realizing on some level like we're all people we're all connected we all need to make a living supporting a local business ultimately is part of a chain right like if everybody goes shopping online if everybody goes shopping in a giant supermarket if everybody goes to the huge bank all of us in the end end up being little crappy desk slaves which is not ideal too so i am a big fan of supporting the local optic shop at a reasonable price right so if he has his retail price and his retail price is semi-reasonable and you make with him a deal saying hey i'm buying two pairs of glasses distance and close up and i'll come back every three or four months and i'll buy more because right and here you got to be careful you don't want to overload somebody with conspiracy ideas in their mind maybe you can make a deal you know, I mean, if he says 120 is a normal price, maybe you can get them for 80. I used to buy glasses in Bulgaria and they were like the same price that you're paying for glasses online now, local. But, right, they have lower rent, they have lower overhead, they have lower insurance. Maybe they're not part of a chain. I, I'm not a fan of optic shop chains. So if you go to a local shop, go to a local shop. Or I, I personally would support a local shop more than some lens crafter luxotica type of chain operation so try that out the takeaway from this video which was meant to be really short but now is not really short is optometry retail is a business and you're the customer and you vote with your wallet if you're if they're treating you condescendingly if you're treating you rudely first look at what are you presenting, right? Like, are you making it so it's hard for them to relate to you? You don't call them liars, don't, don't be negative to them. But if you're friendly and positive, and if you're not putting out a story that's too far-fetched for them, right? Are they treating you with respect and are they giving you what you want? If they're not, then maybe go elsewhere, right? Have a positive experience or buy online and self-measure, which you can absolutely do too. Myopia is a simple thing, you don't really need a fancy setup necessarily. That's it. That's it for this video. Sorry it's been a while. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. As usual, I think there's going to be a little bit of endy bits from we just left the kite surfing place and the girl went back home and I'm going to go travel a bit. So enjoy some of that. See you in the next one.